Yo, what up guys, Ross Callops here, and in this video, I'm reviewing Damsel. Alright, so Damsel is another Netflix movie starring Millie Bobby Brown, and, um, you know, I don't watch Netflix that much. Um, I don't really watch anything that much. But, uh, I figured it just came out, so why not take a look? And this movie is basically about a young woman who agrees to marry a handsome prince, only to discover that it was all a trap. Uh, she's thrown into a cave with a fire-breathing dragon and has to rely on her wits and will to survive. And that's the movie, you know. You know her family is very poor and her, like, people. And so marrying this rich family, it's like the best of both worlds, right? They marry into a rich family and the family can help that. I guess the those people can help the other people. That's kind of the thought process behind it is even though she might not want to, she does it for the good of her people. And honestly, I feel like this movie flows pretty good. Uh, it's about an hour and 45, and I think the pace is good. Um, it kind of kicks off right away, and uh, you're kind of invested right off the bat, in my opinion. Now, I don't like these old medieval, like, Stone Age <laughs> type movies. And I feel like Netflix movies can either be hit or miss, you know, like Spaceman. Uh, <laughs> but they can either be good or bad, and I didn't know what to expect. Like I said, I don't really watch, like, these older movies where, you know, there's, like, a stone age, right? And on top of that, the story, I mean, that sounds interesting, but I don't know if it really intrigued me. But after watching it, I mean, I want to say this is a pretty good movie. Now, I'm not saying this is Dune Part 2. I'm saying it's better. <laughs> no, but this ain't no, like crazy spectacle movie you know it's good for what it is um a simple story simple premise something that i really haven't seen or heard of uh where instead of the prince saving her she has to save herself but yeah i'm not saying this is the best movie of the year but i want to say this is a pretty good surprising movie all right but now i'm going to start getting into some of the pros uh i think the first one i would say is the visuals it looks great uh, i think the dragon looks good i think like the castle and all the aspects of that um looks really good in their kingdom not even that just like some of the cave um scenes and the fire and everything i think it all looks really good um along with that i'd say the story the story is like i said i haven't really heard of a story like this where she has to save herself and i think the way they do it um while it might be kind of like some plot armor uh i think it was done good and it was just i guess an interesting story along with that i'd say is the acting uh, i think the acting was done well you know they all the people who acted did a pretty good job nothing oscar worthy but uh, i think millie bobby brown did well along with the other cast members and the last thing i'll say is the ending is pretty satisfying um from what happens to her and then how she's able to get out of it at the end i'd say the ending is pretty satisfying for what the story was going for now, some of the cons I would say is, like I said, plot armor. I feel like there's multiple times the dragon could have just killed her, um, but it just chose not to, kind of playing with its food, which I don't know if it's plot armor or just it's been too easy, but I feel like that was one thing. Like, the movie could have ended, you know, right at the beginning, basically. Another thing, it was a kind of predictable ending, kind of predictable what was going to happen in a way, I'd say. Just certain story beads and certain arcs. Like, as you get going in the movie, it kind of, you kind of can start piecing together what's probably going to happen. Um, along with that, and these are kind of nitpicks, but it's kind of cliche and kind of corny in some spots. But I mean, overall, there's not a whole lot that I didn't like about this movie. Um, I would rewatch this, and honestly, it was just a nice surprise. Now, this could be hit or miss as well, but in my opinion, this was a pretty good movie uh, for what it was. You know, it wasn't trying to be anything crazy Oscar worthy, but it was a good movie. And if you have time, I suggest, you know, it's worth the watch. But with that being said, guys, I just want to say thank you all for watching another movie review. Um, you know, I appreciate the interactions and the support on the other videos. Uh, it means a lot to me. And so comment down below if you saw this and let me know your thoughts, whether you liked it or you didn't like it. You know, I'd be curious to know why or why not. And so I just want to say thanks again. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.